Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to the We Crochet YouTube channel, Facebook page today for our live. We have another special guest. I'm really excited to chat with her and talk about this special event that's coming up. So excited to get to share with you and just chat with you. I always enjoy getting to chat with you guys every Wednesday. So as you come in, say hello, where you're watching from, what you're working on, let us know. I see Heather here already. Good morning, Heather. Um, from Oregon, sunny Oregon. Um, it is sunny here too, so we're gonna take it. And the weather is finally turning a little bit fall, so we'll take it. I mean, not really, because I mean, so. Anyway, uh, so yeah, but we've been working away here uh, with all kinds of new things that are coming up. It is so great to have you guys here. Chris, yes, you weren't here last week. We missed you, Chris, but hopefully you got to watch the replay. Um, but if not, that's okay. You're here this week. That's what counts. Hi, Carlene. It is great to see you. Um, yeah, so before we get our guest on here, I wanted to just let you guys know or remind you guys that right now we have our monthly yarn sale on Dishy. So all of our Dishy yarn is 20% off. You can go and grab that through the end of the month. You don't want to miss out on that, especially as we get into like the gift giving times washcloths, little baskets are all really great ideas. And you can go ahead and grab your dishy now while it's on sale, stock up and be ready to go. Um, hi, Julia. It is great to see you here. Let's see. We also have Cindy. Good afternoon. And Shelly and Veronica. Veronica is our designer spotlight this month. So she's actually going to be on with us next week, I believe. Tell me I'm right, Veronica. I think I got that right. Um, we are going to be talking with her next week. So you can also check out her patterns for 30% off for the month. Um, my dad is here. Hi, dad. I will say hello to my dad. Oh, yes, Shelly, the dress. It's not a dress. So you might recognize this from our solstice collection, which is the sun dance, sun dance dress, but we stopped it. It is a peplum top. Let me see if I can lift this up a little bit. It's a peplum top. It's cut off right here. We only did so many of the repeats. Um, I know Jen is here watching. Jen, how many did we do? One, two, three, four, four and a half repeats of the triangles here to make this as a peplum top instead of the full skirt of the dress. So you can still make this gorgeous, gorgeous piece, but cut it off and make it work for you if you don't like wearing dresses um, or it's just too much to work. We know it's a thin yarn and everything else. So um, Margaret is here. Hi, great to see you. Yes, she's still making fun of me about my Halil or whatever the heck I said a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh, Margaret. Um, oh, Catherine's here. She is one of the fabulous designers we work with. I'm working on that dress right now is what she said. Awesome. What color are you working it in? We can't wait. But yeah, I love the idea of the peplum top um, instead of the full dress. If you you know, love the look of it, but don't want to be making the full thing. Um, and this one over here is our sassafras cardigan from our new collection called Foliage that came out at the beginning of this month. So you can go and check that out as well. We'll be putting the links in here. I see the sun drant sun. Why is that so hard? Sun dance dress pattern link is in there that you can go and check that out. Um, one last call out that Friday 915 is National Hat Day. So if you haven't already, start making a hat. You can make it for Friday, make it on Friday, get ready for the cool weather that is coming, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere uh, of the world in North America. We're getting ready for fall and winter. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and make your hats. Okay. Let me bring in my special, special guest. Um, oh, Catherine said she's using the Royal Blue Curio. Yes, I think that's, are you using the navy one or are you using the new blue color? I don't think I have it. Oh yeah, I do have it here. Uh, are you using this color or are you using the navy color? This is one of our new colors that we just came out with. Um, so that one is really great. We love that one. Oh, happy birthday, Chris, on Friday, National Hat Day. You got to make a hat. You got to wear a hat, something crocheted in there. Um, yeah. And Margaret said, I love the Solstice collection, my favorite collection on We Crochet, woo woo, um, and love smaller hooks. Yes, we have another collection coming up that you're going to love then, Margaret, next year, early next year. So, okay, let me bring my special guest in here. Hello. Hi. If you don't know who this is, okay, we talked about her name. 
And I'm going to say it, and then I'm going to let her say it, and you can hear how beautiful it is when it comes from an actual French-speaking person versus an American. Um, this is Hortense. Go ahead, tell us how it really is said. Hortense. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I, know. I don't know that that's going to come out of my mouth. So I apologize profusely, and we're going to keep going because you likely know her as Knitting with Chopsticks. At least that's how I knew her from the beginning. Um, you know, we attend, we tend to associate faces with a brand name, and then sometimes it's hard to remember their actual name. Um, but yeah, Knitting with Chopsticks is what you probably know her by. She does knit and crochet patterns that are absolutely gorgeous. And she has this really awesome summit that she is putting together and organizing that's actually going to be happening this weekend. So you guys were just in time. You can clear your calendars and make room for the summit. So we should tell everybody that we're going to put the link in there that they'll be able to sign up and get the details. But this is a blanket making summit specifically for crocheters. So let's start out. Could you tell us the exact dates of the event and tell us a little bit about why you came up with this idea and how this was all born? Um, so the event is happening Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that's like 16, 17, 18 September. Um, and actually, like I started convincing my mom and sister to crochet a few, like a few years ago. Um, so they started making their own project. They started making blankets because like blankets are most people's go-to first projects. Um, they're like super great for gifts and they're like easy to make and have around. Um, right. But then they started to be like, oh, I want to do this, but I want to make it a little bit like this and a little bit like that. And can you design me a custom pattern basically? Um, yeah. So I'm happy to do that for them, uh, but I can't do that for everyone. And I saw like in a lot of like Facebook groups and like all the online community, like a lot of the same questions about like how to make up your own patterns for blankets or how to adjust patterns, uh, how to put like one blanket pattern with another border pattern together or like changing colors and things like that. Um, so I started thinking like we need something more. Uh, we have a ton of patterns and we have a ton of like stitch and technique tutorials, but right. we don't have anything or at least I haven't found anything that gives you all like the basically the experience designers have uh, from working and crocheting for years and years and making like tens and tens of blankets. Um, yeah. So that's what I wanted to share through this summit is really like just giving you like five to 10 years of experience just in three days like this, bam, <laughs> so that you can like make up your own blankets and have the confidence and the ease of knowing you're not going to have to frog it. Yeah. No, this is all amazing because you're right. Blankets tend to be something that we go to, especially as a beginner project. And, you know, there's so many beautiful blankets out there that you can find things but as we all know, as crocheters, there's always a little something we might want to tweak or kind of add in or change a little bit. And so this is going to be the ultimate, like, jam-packed master course of everything you need to know about making blankets. And even better, tell them how many different designers are joining you for all of these classes. So there's 20 designers uh, that each are going to share uh, one presentation uh, about, like, a specific topic. Uh, each presentation is about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we have a live Q&A, so you can get all your questions answered. Yeah, and these are a lot of designers that you already know, you already trust, and they're coming together in this little package, all for you, um, to be able to watch it. And I know we talked about that it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend, but what happens if you can't watch one of the segments live? Because we were talking about before this, I've got soccer games this weekend, <laughs> And so, you know, we got to make some choices. So what's going to happen if I can't watch it live? So what we haven't said yet, it's that it's completely free to attend. So that's kind of important to know. Yeah. <laughs> and you get uh, access to every presentation for 24 hours. So if a presentation is like Saturday at 2 p.m., it's available until Sunday 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Um, but if you still can't make it within that time, uh, once you sign up, you get a chance to upgrade for like the super pack. Uh, where you get like ongoing access to all of the presentations, as well as presentation notes and a ton of bonuses from all of the designers. So everyone pitched in like a course, ebook, a bundle of patterns. Um, so there's a lot of really great, great stuff there. 
Yeah. So how long is the super pack available for? Do they have to get it now? Are they going to be able to sign up for that during the event? Or how does that work? Because I know I signed up for it and I got the option for super pack right away that showed up. So is that the only time you're going to be able to get super pack? No. So once you sign up, you get like a 30 minute, uh, really, really good deal where it's basically 50% off. Uh, so if you know you want it, get it then, because that's the best deal you'll get. It's only available for 30 minutes and then it's gone. Uh, then you have uh, the early bird price up to the start of the summit. And then you can get it at the normal price until uh, the Friday after the summit. So if you miss this, if you see this a few days late, you can still get it up to Friday, September 22nd. Perfect. Um, and then also, I know when you signed up, I got the email that like has the agenda on it of when everybody is speaking. Are there going to be other emails that are sent out as reminders or is it better for us to like make calendar reminders or kind of how can we make sure we don't miss the links to get to the actual content? So I have you covered. Don't worry. <laughs> so you get a first email that like confirms you're registered and gives you like the details. Uh, but then each day I will send an email with that day's presentation and like the direct link for each presentation. So you can just click and watch whatever you want. Um, and you can also join the Facebook group. Uh, that's where the live Q and A's will happen. Um, so all the videos are available on the website. So if you're not on Facebook, um, don't worry, you can still watch all the videos. Well, I guess most of you are on Facebook because we're on Facebook Live, but yeah. <laughs> just in case, <laughs> like in case you know someone who wants to join but doesn't have Facebook, so you know. Um, right. So uh, in the Facebook group is going to be all the live Q&As, um, but there's also going to be reminders for each of the presentations with the links and everything. Uh, so we're sure you don't miss anything. Awesome. So again, if you were not able to make it live, you'll still have 24 hours to watch, but you'll be missing out on the live Q&A because that happens right after the course goes live. Is that correct? Exactly. Perfect. So if you can watch live or, you know, check out when you get the list of what all the topics are, mark it down on your calendar to make sure you're available for the Q&A for the ones that you really want to attend and have questions for. Um, and then if there's something that you don't have a question on, you can still watch it whenever you have the opportunity to. So we love that. Um, we are getting asked, what is the name of the Facebook group so that they can go ahead and sign up? That's going to be in the email, correct? That they can just click through and link right there. Exactly. Perfect. So yeah, go ahead and sign up. Um, Janice, can you throw that link in again for us for the summit? You can go ahead, sign up. It's just your name, your email address. And then it asks you if you knit, crochet or both. And you fill that out. And that's it, guys. Like you don't have to fill out a ton of information. It's real sweet, short. Once you do that, you get the email that has the list of all the important information. I was just checking my email and printing it out so I would have it um, <laughs> right before this. So yeah, everything is right there for you. And I love that you're going to be sending out the daily emails with all the links and everything. That is key because I'm going to need the extra reminders and everything else because I don't want to miss it. There's so much amazing content. There are so many amazing designers that are joining in for this event. So even if you don't sign up right this minute, you will be seeing it all over the place. I know I started seeing it pop up with different designers sharing about the event that you can go ahead and you can sign up directly with them as well. However you find it, just make sure you show up, make sure you get there, make sure you get this information because it really is wonderful information. I know I was talking to Hannah, who is doing it from Han Jan Crochet, and she was telling me she's talking about color, um, picking colors and stuff. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I need that so much because that's way past blankets. Like, yes, we're talking about blankets. Yes, we're talking about picking colors there. But a lot of these topics, you really can translate past a crochet blanket, which I really love. Yeah, definitely. So like most of the topics are like crochet topics. And I've tried to like all apply them to blankets because sometimes it's hard when you learn about a general technique to like, okay, now how do I use this for blankets? But of course, you can use it for anything else, like colors. We have like corner to corner, mosaic crochet, all these kind of techniques. You can use them for anything else than a blanket, of course. Right, right. Um, Cindy said, I've just signed up. Can't wait. Yay, Cindy. I will see you there. I will see you live on as many as I can make it. It's going to be great. And yeah, like we should all be there chatting and we can all start talking and be like, hey, guys, we're here. Um, 
let everybody know that you're there and watching live. It's going to be so much fun. I have to say, I'm so excited. Um, the other thing we wanted to talk about, do you want to like name drop a little bit? Maybe give us like maybe five designers that are going to be there or something, or just however many you want to sure. tell us. Can you tell us who else is coming? Um, so have, we have Marley Bird, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we have Two Brother Blankets. Yes. Uh, we have Life and Yarn, uh, which is really yeah. cool. Uh, we have Hanjan, uh, as you mentioned. Um, we have uh, Madame Stitch, Rosie Cozy UK, uh, me knitting with chopsticks, Norse Knits, and so on. They're yeah, all on the sign-up like page. Like if you scroll down on the sign-up page, you can see like everyone who's talking and their topic. Yeah, there's a lot of great people. Shelly just said, I'm all signed up for the VIP experience. She is yeah. not going to miss out. You know, no. the VIP experience or the super pack, however you want to call it, is really great, not just because of the bonuses, because I've gotten a sneak peek at what some of those bonuses are, um, but not just for the bonuses, but just for the being able to watch it whenever you want, as many times as you want, to be able to go back and rewatch it when that topic comes up. Because like you said, there's going to be corner to corner in there. If you're not working on corner to corner right now and you don't have like plans to start corner to corner in the next week or so, it might not be something that you're going to remember all of the tips and tricks that you learned in the class. But if you get the VIP experience, you now have the class for whenever you do pick up your corner to corner. You can go back, watch the tips, watch the tricks that are going on, which I really think is great because there's times where we think, oh, we're never going to do that. And then we're like, oh, I should have paid attention a little <laughs> bit more for those tips. <laughs> You also get uh, presentation notes. So like you watch the video, but then you remember there's something and you want to look it up. You can look it up in the notes. That's like much easier than like scrolling back through a video. Um, right. So when you get the upgrades, you get presentation notes for each presentation. Love it. Um, also, I wanted to make sure I brought this up or asked, are they going to be making along with the classes or more or or are they more instructional classes that you just kind of watch and listen to, and then you would go make your project afterwards? Um, so we have a bit of both. Uh, we have mostly uh, instructional classes, and then a few that have like more hands-on sections or techniques. Um, they're highlighted, mm -hmm. like I've highlighted them in the program, so you know which ones you need to bring your yarn and hook to. But they're not like full projects. They're more like a technique or a stitch. Um, so you can like swatch while you watch the class. Uh, and then apply it to your own project in your own time. Awesome. I love it. Um, Chris said she also signed up. Woohoo! Um, there is a question too from Shelly. Um, is there going to be any mosaic information in the yes. class? Yes. We have a class about mosaic crochet and a class about Tunisian mosaic crochet. Ooh, very nice. I have to say, I just, I've only ever done so far like one Tunisian project and I loved it. I just, I don't know, didn't get back to it. I'm working on a Tunisian cardigan. I jumped full on into Tunisian. I am so excited about it. It is so beautiful. I will say it is taking me a lot longer than like regular crochet takes me. And maybe it's just because I'm still fairly like new to it, but I'm getting into a faster rhythm, but it's just turning out beautiful. I love it so much. I think it's probably more like knitting that just like there's yes. smaller stitches. So they just take more time, but Very enjoy true. the process. Yes, I am until I make a mistake and then I have to rip out and then I get really <laughs> frustrated because it's like it's a two stitch repeat and then you alternate like you yeah. flip flop what you're doing type of thing. And every now and then I'm not paying quite enough attention or I put something down. But we, that's okay. We get right back on track. It's okay. That's the great thing about crochet is you just rip it out and it's better than knitting in my opinion because you're not going to lose your stitches as you rip out again. It's all right there for you. It's easier to fix. Shelly said now I'm even more excited after there's the mosaic and the Tunisian mosaic. So yes, totally, totally. Um, the other question I wanted to ask is yes, there's a Facebook group. Is that Facebook group going to be up for a long time that if somebody watches the course later and then they have a question, can they go back to that group for support? Um, so the group will be open until the end of next week and then I'm going to archive it. Uh, but you're welcome to join my group and I'm happy like to answer any questions and like relate them to the designers. Uh, or you can always send me an email with any of your questions. Like I'm happy to help. Um, yeah. Also, if you can't make the live Q&As, you can just 
ask your questions straight in the group and most of the designers are in there already uh, chatting and answering questions. So we're here. Yeah. I love it too, because there's some designers too that are on the list that I don't know very well. So it was a really great opportunity to start following them and start commenting and start getting to talk to them and get their different aspect on things because crochet is crochet. And yes, it tends to look very similar when you're done, but there's so many different ways that you can do it. Like the way you hold your hook, the way you pull up your loop, like we could be working on the same project and get similar end results, but the way we did it is very different, but we're still crocheting and we're still making this beautiful piece. And you can just learn so much by just talking to other people, watching how other people do their stitches. And maybe you'll find something that works better for you or is easier for you just by getting to chat with all these other people. I'm left-handed, so I'm definitely doing it differently. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's great, guys. Here's our second now left-handed designer. We know Michelle Ferguson is also a left-handed designer. Um, we've talked to her before about that. So now you've got a second left-handed designer option when you're out there looking for help with things or trying to find patterns and whatnot. Love it. Um, oh, no. So I don't know who this is, but it says Maximum Yardage from YouTube said, I made a boo-boo. I accidentally closed the window where I can get the 50% off. Um, why don't you send an email over to Hortense? Does that work for you? Yeah. And you can help them figure that out and everything else. So um, yeah, just send an email over to her or send a message to her and she'll be able to figure it out. So, or help you in whatever way. My email is just like my first name and then at knittingwithchopsticks.com. Perfect. Um, or you can also head over to her website, Knitting with Chopsticks. It's also there that you can go ahead and contact her that way. Um, Margaret says, I believe I signed up. I need to go check. Yes. <laughs> Look for your email. I know for me, um, I used a Gmail account. It went into my promotions folder and it is, does come up that it's from Knitting with Chopsticks. That's what you're looking for in your email to see um, if you got the introduction email and everything. Um, yes, Margaret says, whatever hand you crochet with, you're still crocheting and you can make something beautiful. 100%. It's all about that process. It's all about the journey. There's just so much magic in crochet from the community, from making with your hands, from the meditation of the stitches, of making things for other people. Like there's just so many wonderful, wonderful things about crochet. I love it. I, you know, I don't know why everybody doesn't do this and hasn't figured it out yet. I really don't know. <laughs> don't know either. It's way too addictive. So I don't understand why people aren't all hooked, but I know, I know we all and just, yeah. it's like, you, so have versatile. Shirt, you okay. have like so many different styles. Um, that's like even more than in knitting. I find like you can have like so many different styles. Like some look like really modern, yes. like shop ish, uh, yeah. others look like completely like granny square ish. And yeah, I can't explain it, but there's like so much variety. Yes. Yes. There's something Maybe. for everyone really out there that you can find uh, your person, your designer that you enjoy following that makes you things that you want to make over and over and over. It's so great. No one Is can say any? like, I don't like the look of crochet. Yes. No, you can't because like you're just looking at these two pieces. They're so different in, I mean, this one definitely looks more crochet the way that it is. This one just looks so different and like almost knit. Like it looks more store-bought. You know, there's just so many different options of what you can do. It is no longer the old thought of people making the same thing over and over again, or just making granny square blankets, or just making like the, um, what were they? Like the little dolls and everything. Like it's so far expanded anymore and there's so much you can make with it it's just i don't know everybody should do it just do it just, pick up a <laughs> just do it it's okay <laughs> um, is there anything else that we missed about talking about the blanket summit uh other than it's an amazing opportunity to get lessons and classes with these designers you know you can get them for free or you can upgrade with the uh super pack to get everything that you need whenever you need it. Um, but it's just an amazing opportunity and you guys are totally missing out if you don't sign up. So please go sign up, join me. I will be there for the live events. I'll be checking in and seeing what's going on. Is there anything else that we missed though about the event that we need to tell people? 
Uh, maybe I can tell a bit more about the different topics, like just a few of them. Yes. Um, you know, sure. there's mosaic, but like some some of the other ones. Um, so I will be talking about math, uh, the topic everyone hates, but it's yes. very necessary. So I'm keeping it super simple. How many stitches do you need? How much yarn do you need? Uh, just to get you started on designing your own blanket. Um, then we have topics about uh, choosing your colors, different types of color work, blocking your blankets, different blanket mm. constructions. Uh, we have joining methods. Um, then we have more like technical, uh, like corner to corner mosaic, uh, Tunisian, uh, reading charts, um, doing like wavy or chevron. I don't know how to pronounce yes. that correctly, but that kind of blankets. Um, and then on the third day, we have some like out of the box topics, I like to call them. Um, we have a live chat about pattern ethics. Uh, we have a topic about blanket sizes. So what size should you make for whom? Um, unusual crochet color work, and then how to plan your, like your temperature crochet blankets, um, choosing the perfect yarn, crocheting blankets for men. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, if you want to move ahead and like start selling your crochet, we have a presentation about that, like how you can do that with blankets because they're so big, oh. they're kind of hard yeah. to market, but Pam right. has a lot of great tips for you. Awesome, I can't wait. Um, uh, Heather put in here that uh, she is working on Hannah's time to bloom blanket. So this is going to be perfect for as she goes to finish it up. She'll have seaming, she'll have finishing, she'll have blocking, she'll have all of that. Yeah, that blanket is absolutely beautiful that Hannah did. I, I still have my yarn sitting over here. It will get there one day, you know, between work and kids and life and we'll get there. I, I'm happy if I get a couple stitches in a day, right? Um, and Margaret said that some people like crossword puzzles to tickle their brains. And then she says, I, or we that are all here, like crochet to keep our brains sane 100%. Yes, there is something for everybody, but I still think it should be crochet. It also keeps your hands busy so you don't snack all the time. So that's like that's the win for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it keeps the snacking at minimum. Um, let's see. Margaret also said, I've never made a full size blanket, just a baby size ones. I'm too scared making a full size blanket that it will kill my bank account. Well, that's not always true. And you're going to learn a lot in these courses on how you can make it work. And plus, like there's things like Brava that we have in our Brava Worsted that are so affordable in making a blanket that, you know, you're not going to be spending hundreds of dollars to make a blanket. And, you know, when you think about it, I find that I'm looking at wools and acrylics when I make blankets, like super wash because they're easy to care for. That if something gets on it, you can throw it in the wash machine, you can wash it, you can dry it, and it comes out looking brand new um, as opposed to anything that would be kind of hand wash or, you know, that you have to block like a huge one. Like blocking is way easier when it's like motifs. Yes, you can block a full blanket. Yes, you're going to get that information, but there's so many different ways to approach a blanket that can make it work. Yeah, Shelly said Brava is the best for blankets, hands down. Totally agree. <laughs> I just finished a blanket in Brava. It was a corner to corner. I made a rocket ship for my son for his birthday. So yeah, it turned out really great. I'm pretty proud of it. So it should be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing about the summit. I hope everybody signs up for it if you haven't signed up for it already. Um, and I will see you guys this weekend over in the summit and in the live Q and A's over there. And then we'll be back next week here on our channel with another wonderful guest. We talked about Veronica. She's going to be joining us as well. So thank you so much. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.